Previously on the Jason Z. Today I'll be going over the five most toxic things on Earth. Number one, carrot users. Now, well, well, well. I know what a lot of you might be saying. How the turntables. Jason Z, Bon Jovi, and Carrot are basically the same unit. He does exactly what I do. And no, they are completely different. Carrot is toxic. Bomzeria is fair and balanced. And yes, I'm going to call her Bomzeria because it annoys one of my guildmates. So, you know, got to do it maximum amount of times. Just got released and I went <laughs> a little too hard for her, as you can see by this plus 30 artifact and a imprint and my sky stones being significantly lower than in my last showcase. But yes, here is my Bomzeria. I only uh, plus five to S2 because I just wanted to get the attack increase. And here are her stats. She got 5k attack, which is low for a bombs area, especially on these sites. Her defensive stats are, uh, I don't know, I don't really care, because I'm going to be running her in my cleave teams, which is why she has 239 speed and 181 effectiveness. But all right, let's get into the showcase. Before we do, make sure to subscribe for more showcases like this. Wow, it has been a hot minute, but we're going to be taking her to Guild War. I don't even remember the last time I did a Guild War showcase, but all right. Operator Subret's going to go, and this is going to activate her passive which is super useful for Cleave, because first, it's going to push the team up by 15%, and then it's also going to bomb. All right, we got lucky and hit the BBK and the S10A, um, but we didn't script this Troublemaker Crozet, but let's see if that was just unlucky. All right, he saves time. Never mind, it looks like it's an ER Troublemaker Crozet. Let's try to get him with the bombs area. Okay. <laughs> no. It uh, doesn't really matter, though, because he has... He's already going to die for that watch. Damn. Bum is not bad. So this time we got Flurry going first. So I'm just going to get the evasion off of the Ryza in case he does something annoying. And in case he survives this or Bomb doesn't land on him. But, but okay, we're not going to soul burn this. We Ladies got everybody, so no need to worry. And that, got that mad useful passive stuff off. We got it on the Troublemaker, but alright, let's bomb the Landy with the free soul burn. And then with the souls I saved from not soul burning the star, we're gonna hit into the troublemaker. We're, we we just wanna kill him in one go. And alright, now let's see this S3. No attack buff. Let's see how much damage we do. Okay, that right away. Uh, she did decent damage, I guess, against the Landy. But I don't know. She, I guess she's really gonna need attack buff if you want her to shine. But all right, let's just try to get rid of the Troublemaker because if he cleanses the Landy, things are going to get really annoying. So, okay, hit him. Oh, nice. All right, now we just need to kill the Landy. Dang it, we let her get a single turn. How disappointing. But all right, it's kind of tanky, so I and attack down, so I don't think it's going to be damage yet. Basically nothing. That was a really scary Landy. But all right. Okay, last fight with Bomb Zero. Let's see how she does. And this time we got the Operator again because I really like having the attack buff. And since they have an FCC, we get a guaranteed pushback and strip up the immunities. Alright. Let's try to do as much damage to this SSB as possible because she can potentially wreck this entire team. Okay, now let's Soul Burn into the Alencia because she's the only one who doesn't have a bomb. Alright, SSB for the counter. And holy oh, that that's so a good. lot of damage. Almost everybody's almost dead, but alright. It's time to detonate these bombs. And then we get a guaranteed stun because all the bombs landed, which is pretty nice. And then while they're stunned, we can just take advantage and kill them. Because Alencia didn't get to set up the defense buff, Paul and Cecilia didn't get to set up the skill nullifier, and then I can just hit them and something else. Very good. But alright, I think Bombzeria is really good for a guild war because she can basically land her bombs on all three units. Let's see how she does an RTA. Alright, so once again we got her with the Operator Cigarette. Now let's push her back. Okay, so the Kawasu is going to be a bit problematic because... Oh shoot, and the Violet. But it's okay because we pushed the Kawasu back so there's no way he's going to cut like 60% basically. Okay, we got bombs on the maid but no one else so I guess it... I either got resisted or it went into the green fight, but alright. Let's hit the Kwazu because he has one shot potential, which is pretty annoying. And we're gonna try to stun up, and then since we landed up on the maid, we can just stun her, and then we'll kill her before she gets to set up her revive buff. And then we'll just need to deal with this green 
Nightlights. Oh, nice. That was pretty good detonation damage. And then Gab's gonna kill Kwasu. Shoot. Violet countered and killed my RB. Damn, she got the turn before my RB. Oh no. Please, don't kill him. I think he's dead. But okay. This is gonna kill the maid and it can't be countered, which is pretty nice. But unfortunately, Fallen Steel is gonna get to set up the skill modifier. Okay, we need to get rid of this Violet. So let's bomb him. Nice. He then dodge. And then now we're gonna hit the FCC because I don't wanna get countered to death. Trick. Guiding Light didn't proc. Uh, let's hit the FCC again. Once again, don't want any counters or CR pushes. And the nice Landy has the S3 again. So good for speed buff, pushing, and it can't be countered. So Landy's pretty good against the Violet most of the time. Okay, and that activates Bombzeria past it, so she gets another bomb on him. Wait, frick, I forgot. He saved Ow. Apple. That cleansed it. Missed my Bombzeria. Missed. Thank god. Okay. Thank goodness. He didn't evade, and we got the bomb on him. Alright. Now hit him with the F1. Uh-oh. Okay, she barely survived. Alright, um, thank goodness. The speed buff let my bomb area go before the green violet, so now we can just S3. And, oh my god, if this bomb doesn't kill him, we are in so much trouble. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Counter, don't kill. Good. And then detonation happens, we miss. Let's go. So, no, I'm pretty happy because I wanted to counter to evasion, and bomb area is kind of a counter to green violet. As long as he doesn't have immunity. But alright. We got our bombs. We are not going to Soul Burn with Bizarre because we can't push them back, and even if we don't strip them, it's not a huge deal because bombs. Alright, and now we're going to use all these souls. Alright, so first we hit the D-Sec, it should have a bomb. Now, the only one left that doesn't have one is Crimson Armin, so we're going to hit her. Nice to deal attack. Okay, last Soul Burn. Let's hit the q -theme because we really want to kill her before she can start cleansing stuff. But alright, let's see how much damage we do with all these detonations. No attack buff, but she still has 5k attack, so it's gonna do a decent chunk. And guaranteed stuns. Nice. <laughs> alright, please, your time. Alright, this should probably kill the Keefeen, and then no way Carmen and FCC can beat all four of these units. Yeah, they yield it. Alrighty. Um, here is pretty nice. And then since I'm a Cleaver, I really like her as like a seed on substitute because she does well against tanky units. And sometimes the enemy Cleavers like to pick seed on against me, but um, it doesn't really matter because Cerise can push my bomb area up. Wait, how fast am I gonna get? Okay, good. We're the same CR ball, but they have speed down, so I should overtake. So let's just use the attack. Uh, let's just give the attack buff bomb area. Let's soul burn into the C. We should probably. Hit... I think this was a misplay. I should hit the Pavel because he could still potentially so though. But alright. This should kill like three of the units. Maybe even the Pavel too. Nice. So she actually does a decent amount of damage against Cleave teams before she even detonates. But yeah, I really like Bombzeria and my Cleave pumps. But she's not exactly like an OP unit because she has a lot of problems with her kit. Uh, I'm gonna showcase right now. Alright, so they got a Cham Z, but it's fine. Because we're gonna detonate the bomb before he can transfer. So first you gotta kill off this mate flow because she Alright, now we're gonna burn into the FCC, because she's the only one without a bomb. Okay, resisted. That's kind of annoying because I have so much effectiveness on her that she can still get 15% hit. But alright, let's just detonate these bombs. And the CR will sure go transfer. That? Wait. Oh, the detonation doesn't happen until the end of the turn. It, uh, I see. Use my own spells against me, Boston. Yes. Okay, so Champion Serrano is really good against Bombzeria, mainly because of the timing of that uh, detonation. But all right, next fight. All right, so we landed bombs on the Elena. All right, we got the bomb on the Violet. Now let's detonate these babies.
Wait, counter? Bruh, she countered the bomb on the Violet. Now he's not gonna get stunned. Are you kidding me? This is like the detonation really needs to happen earlier because so much stuff can go wrong between like using the S3, all the counters that can happen, and then the detonation. But it might make her a bit too OP if she had the detonation as other uh, kit. But alright, let's just yield out of this one. We can't win. So yeah, the detonation happening so late is really bad. Okay, and this highlights the second problem with Bomb Theoria. Say your stripper gets outsped and killed. Kind of on you for not drafting two, but I did draft two, and the other one got banned. But the problem is, if they have immunity, there's, then Bomb Theoria is kind of useless on her own. Especially against like a Ram, who can no longer be debuffed at this point. So yeah, I can't really do anything with her, so this one's a lot. Where are my bombs? Did every single one of them resist? Like, I can understand the baby, but that much damage from the Polites with no attack buff, that's gotta be a DPS. So there's, so there's also an ER Polites. So yeah, that's like the final problem, I guess, with Bombzilla, is at the end of the day, her damage is reliant on debuffs. She can only land, assuming you have no souls, she can only land three bombs. Two of which are going to be random, one of which you can only get 100% chance to proc uh, if you have a plus 30 artifact. So, uh, free to play players, good luck, I guess. But then you can get 15%ed, or they could just build enough ER and then your random bomb targeting goes for the least optimal unit, in which case Bomb Zeria is once again also useless. But overall, I like her. She's not the most OP limited, but I do enjoy using her. So, make sure to subscribe for more showcases like this. See you next time.